Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the numerical methods. Today we will discuss that how we can solve the Lagrange interpolation formula and the respective examples. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So first of all, what is the advantages of the uh, this Lagrange interpolation formula and why we need them? So for example, if there is a, some function like this or this way, then you can easily find the value of say f of 9, f of 4.5 and so on. You can easily find by substituting the value of the x directly in these formulas. But on the other hand, if some information is given in the form of the tabular like x0, x0 and then so on, then how you can find the value of this which are lies in between here. Like if I say this value is 1, this is 7, this is 9, this is my 10 and how you can find the value of the y at the point 3. So since it is not be represented in the form of the function, so the major task is to find the value of this. So therefore, it is difficult to find the values in between or outside the given points. So in order to understand how we can solve this problem, there is a need of the interpolation is there. So to address such type of the problem, we need a method called as the interpolation. What is the purpose of the interpolation is that, so as the, as the method suggests, this is the inter, so that is the inside that. So if you find the values that is lies between the x0 and x1, then the method is called as the interpolation. If you find the values at outside the, like say if I say the value here is my 4, this is 7 and say last is say my 13, then if you find the value of the 3, it means it lies in between them, so that is called as the interpolation. But if you want to find the value at say 21, this lies outside the domain. So that is called as the extrapolation. So in order to solve uh, each of the case, there is a need for finding the polynomial. So that is both the techniques involves the fitting of the polynomial. So how you can fit the polynomial? Uh, there are several methods are there. There are one is the Lagrange interpolation divided difference or might and the finite difference are there. So in this lecture, we will discuss about the first in, uh, Lagrange interpolation formula followed by this. So what is the working rule for this one is that, so my task is to find a curve of, or a polynomial which satisfy this, uh, uh, these points are there. So since how many points are there? So x0 to n, so it means it consists of the n plus 1 pairs are there. So we need how a polynomial of degree n will be there because there are the n plus 1 points. So you can define the polynomial of degree n. How you can define that? We can consider a polynomial, say a0, x minus x1, x minus x2, and then so on. Now, since, uh, and similarly for the a1 and a n. Now, since this polynomial is passed through these points are there, therefore, once you substitute this point in this expression, what will happen? The left hand side will be my y0. I look at that this part will be 0, so this term will be 0, this term will be 0, and so on. So, you can easily find the value of a1 from here, a0 from here. Similarly, you can find the value of the a1 by substituting the value of the a1, x1, y1 in here. In that case, that component will be 0, that component is 0 only will be here. And similarly, you can find the value of a n. Once you are finding the value of the a0, a1 and a n, you can substitute here and we can summarize this in the form of this and this formula is called as Lagrangian interpolation formula where li is written as here. In order to understand how you can remember this formula, you can simply use the working step. So I have summarized the two steps are there. What is the step is that? So if you have this uh, tabular form, then you have to firstly calculate the value of the L0, Ln and this. And once you are calculating the value of this, then you can simply simplify this by multiply like this, this and this, that is the required answer. How you can solve them? So I can explain you with the help of the examples. So we will consider three different examples. We can see, uh, uh, remember this L0 or so on. So uh, what is the question arises that? So use the Lagrange interpolation formula. You have to find the value of the y of 9. So 9 lies here somewhere. So you can see there is not be the equid equidistance are there. So the distance here is my 2. There is a 4. There is a 2. So this Lagrange interpolation formula is used for non-equal distance also. So you can, so your basic task is to find the value of the Lx that is for here. This is called as the L0, L1, L2 and L3. How you can find the value of L0? I can, so you can remember this. How you can remember this is that since we are talking about here, L0 means this. So this is my x1, this is x2, this is x3, this is x0. So the numerator part will be 
x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3. You can see that. And the denominator is since we are here, so x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3. After substituting the value, what is the value of the x? You, ha you have to calculate the value at 9. So you can substitute here. x is my 9. x mi 9 minus 7, 9 minus 11, 9 minus 13. Divided by, since x0 is my 5, so 5 minus 7, 5 minus 11 and 5 minus 13. So after the calculation, you will get the value as 1 by 6. Similarly, for the L1, how you can define the value of L1? So since we are here, so it means you need the value of the x1, x2 and x, x0, x2 and x3. x minus x0, x minus x2, x minus x3. Divided by since we are calculating at 1, so we can substitute the value of x here. x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3. After substitute all the values in here, you will get this value here. Similarly, you can find the value of the L2. So since L2 that is a x2 value, so we need x0. So you can write as x minus x0. There is a need of the x1, x minus x1, x minus x3. So simply remember that whatever the index you have used, you have to skip this one. Divided by x2 minus x0. So I substitute here as x2. So since this is my x0, this is my x1, this is my x3 and this 9 is my x. So you can substitute all the values here, 9 minus 5, 9 minus and so on. You will get expression 2 by 3. Similarly, for you can find the value, last value L3, that is x minus x0. So since you are here, so you have to use these three values, x0, x1 and x2. And after substituting, you will get minus 1 by 6. So therefore, by using the Lagrange interpolation formula, you can find the value of the y9 is this into this, this into this, this into this, this into this is the required answer. That is L0, Y0, L1, this, this and this is the required answer. And also you can check that Y of 9 is lies here. So you can see your answer is always lies in between them. Look at the second example is there. You have to evaluate the value of the log 310 by using the Lagrange formula and it is given to be here. Now you can see that it data is not be written in the tabular form. So you have to firstly write into the tabular form. So I can take x as my 300, 304, 5 and 7 are there. And since all the expressions are log to the base 10, so I can take as a y of this. Now my task is to find these L0, L1, L2 and L3. So I can start with the L0 again. So since we are here, so I can take the value of the x1, x2 and x3. So x1, x2, x3 divided by with the base x0. So I can, what is the value of the x is? Now since we need the value of 310, so this is my x, this is my x1, this is x2 and this is x3 and this is x0. After the substituting, you will get the result as minus 9 by 14. Similarly, you can find the value of L1 like x minus x0, x minus x2 because you are here. So it means you are needing the value of the x0, x1 and x2. So x minus x0, x minus x2, x minus x X, uh, this is x1, this is x2 and this is x3 divided by with the base of the x1. So after substituting you will get the value of 25 by 2. Similarly you can find the value for here x2. So for x2 you need the value of the here. For the L2 you need the value of this with the base x2 are here. So after substituting you get the value as minus 18. Similarly, for the last value, for the last pair, you can find the value of the L3, X minus for using these three pairs are there, X0, X1 and X2 divided by here. So after the substitution, you will get 50 by 7. So therefore, what is the required answer of log of 10, 310 will be, this is this into this, this into this, this into this and this into this will be, is the required answer. You can see minus 9 by 14 into this. 25 by 4 and so on. So since all the des all the results which are given in the hair up to the four decimal places, so you can represent your result up to the four decimal places. Look at the last example. So you have to find the uh, calculate the viscosity. That is, you have to find this value at the 140. So if 140 is lies in between them, so you have to find their value. So I can consider this as my x, this as my y because I need to calculate the value of y. So I can represent this value here. Again, now there is a need to calculate the L0. So by using the x1, x2 and x3. So you can substitute the value here. 
you and what is your x will be x will be my 140 x1 will be here x2 is there x3 is here so after the substitution you will get minus 1 by 8 similarly you can find the value of the l1 so since you are here so you need the value of this this and this so that is a x0 x2 and x3 divided by here is x1 this is x1 this is x1 after the calculation you will get as a 5 by 6 similarly you can find the value of the l2 and l3 you can see that now since you are here l2 so you need the value of the x0 x1 and x3 divided by the same here but you replace x by the x2 and similarly for the l3 after substituting the value you will get 1 by 3 for the l2 1 by 3 uh, minus 1 by 24 for the l3 so therefore what is the what is the viscosity city at 140 is will be so you can simplify here this multiply this multiply this as of here so since all these results are up to the one decimal places so you can take up to maximum two are here so this is the required answer of this so this is the way you can solve the any of the problem with the help of this lagrange formula so next lecture we will see on the matlab code of this lagrange interpolation formula you can simplify you can simply follow this channel link for, for finding the more updated video till then best of luck students